Straightway? What are you talking about? Straightway? The site? You see the site? Straightway? Yeah. Nah, you? Uh. That's that's the group that is out with um, Pastel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we always get on that guy, yeah. Pastel, yeah. We always get him. He always he always come at us as well. Cause he has um he teach how all nations can make it. That's the doubt. And these are not Israelite foreigners. These are straight up Edomites. You can just tell based on his spirit. You see? And what it is, he making good money. It's all a money thing, man. You see? Pastor Dow, yeah. Yeah, we... Bro's been going at Pastor Dow, yeah. I think everybody know each other by now. Yeah, Due to YouTube, like. everybody know each other by now. That's what I was like. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. Straight away. And I said, see, Pastor Dow. He acts like, who, who's that? I was like, yeah. oh, wait a minute. He doesn't know Pastor Dow. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. That's a, that's a big cat. Yeah, everybody, everybody like... Everybody know everybody. Meant you say your group. Everybody know your doctrine. I U I C I S P K G M S G O C. You like okay. I know the doctrine. Yeah. Minute they say it, you know the doctrine. Yeah. And they come they they call it Yahya Yashaya, mermaids, all kind of madness, man. Only thing he teaches right is uh the chick. He do teach the chick too. G O G O C C. No. But, but you know, everybody know each other now. Why? And that's a part of the internet. And Esau knows that. And even though them guys be going off of something, one thing they all teach in common are who the Israelites are. See? That's still going out. You know what I mean? So it's no, there's no covering for our people now at this point, man. Everybody done heard, man. Everybody, man. You got brothers in Australia, New Zealand, Germany, Germany Amsterdam. Ghana, UIC, Ghana, right? Yeah, Ghana. They name they Ghana. There's a, a lot of brothers in London come from Ghana. West Africa. Church of Yahweh Shai, yeah. They're all Ghana, Nigeria, Igbo, Yoruba. There's a lot of Israelites in West Africa. Yeah, Jamaican, yeah. Benjamin, yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of brothers everywhere. There's brothers in South America that we don't know about because they do videos in Spanish. Brothers everywhere, man. Brothers in LA, Jim SLA, went to South America to help them out. In Mexico, I think. Not South America. Mexico. And there's brothers in South America too. I can't remember their channel. There's brothers in Puerto Rico. There's everywhere. There's brothers we see and there's brothers we don't see. I mean, there's a brother from Central Africa. So, uh, I believe South Africa is one dude. You see? It's, it's a spirit, man. Yeah. Like that's that great multitude, yeah. Uh, I really honestly like believe that everyone heard the truth before. Damn, look at that. Especially all my friends, because they, they see my change. You know what I mean? They see how I used to be chill with them. Now I teach them. I gave them all my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? It's like watching the videos because they, they, they know me. You know what I mean? So it's just like they, they heard it. You know what I mean? They, they told their parents about it. They told their friends about it. Because like, they, they, they other friends were like, yo, what happened to, um, what happened to the, um, Boy, yeah, what happened to him? Why you don't be on the block? Why you do this? You know what I mean? Oh, he be out to teach it. He be out to get Israelite. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to so start. We're going to start with that scripture. Was it Jeremiah 30? I'd like to say shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, call Allah, La Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah. Also give a double honor to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akiyam. Uh. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen. Hope for the elect, man. And who we out here for? The 12 lost tribes of the children of Israel, you Negroes, Hispanics, you Native Indians, and you Israelites that are scattered, man. Because we were just going through the rundown of Israelites that are scattered. That's how we don't know how they're going to say black Hebrew Israelites. First of all, yeah, the majority of Israelites are people of color, but Israel is scattered as well, man. And what's gathering everybody is the spirit, man. The word, man. I at once ask a question. When, when Yeshua says, lost sheep of Israel, the question is asked, what is he meant by lost? Well, he tell you that in, um, uh, but that's the reason why he went, when you read John the fourth chapter, when he went up to Samaria, yeah, because you had Israelites that were amongst the Samaritans, you had, um, 
uh, and then it went from Jerusalem, and then Apostle Paul had the um, the um, he had the uh, the authority to go teach to the Israelites that were scattered, Galatia, Colossians, Philippi, Rome, because we talked about the Maccabees. A lot of the Israelites fell into Greek customs. That's what the scripture says: neither Jew nor Greek. Those Greeks were what? Those were Israelites that were doing what these Israelites are doing today. Followers of America, being homosexuals, following Christmas. It's the same thing. And then you ask me nationality, I'm American. I'm American. I'm black. black. I'm Puerto Rican. That's the lost sheep. That's what we said. He said he told Ezekiel, get them two. And that, they ain't talking about back then. Let's talk about now. Get the two sticks. And when they, the children of thy people come up to you and ask you, what is that? What do you mean by that? Then you're supposed to tell him. Look, this is a, and he said, Ezekiel prophesy unto these bones that they may live, man. The dry bones. You see? And they're walking up and down in America lost, man. That's the, that's the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Like, we were lost at one time. So that's, so that's the thing, right? It's like, it's like, lost in the spirit versus lost, lost. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the way how sometimes some brothers do it. Proverbs twenty one sixteen. Yeah. More put it into the understanding, like, yeah, we couldn't find, them. yeah, we couldn't, and I'm like, no, no, nah, nah, that's not true because what the way how James say, yeah. greetings to the twelve tribes yeah. that are scattered. Yeah. One. So, yeah. And then if if Isaiah eleven eleven is showing you where they're at, based on that time frame, yeah, you, yeah, I mean that. It was not lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just that they are scattered. They scattered. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding. Okay, where did they scatter to? Yeah. So when I go to that town, I'm like, yeah. Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandering out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah. So that's what it means. The lost sheep. Israel wandered out of the way of understanding. Because we like we talk, we talk about that's what the Gentile is. That's why Paul said that in Romans 2:25. He said, um. Almost to 25, I think. You can read on down. No, 225. Yeah. Romans chapter 2, verse 25. For a circumcision barely profited. If thou keep the law, but if thou be a break of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Yeah, you are heathen. You wandered out of the way of understanding. So you say if, if you break the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. So that goes for the Jews who were circumcised. That goes for the Jews who knew the law. If they were breaking the law, they uncircumcised, man. Right? Because it's talking, yeah. Jeremiah in the ninth chapter, where he said he's gonna punish um, Egypt and Judah and all the nations that are uncircumcised and all the houses are uncircumcised in the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, your mind, yeah. That's why he says. That's why I give other precepts in uh, chapter thirty, verse six. He says, when you return, like reading from verse two, <laughs> he says. When you return to me with all your heart and all your mind and all yeah, your soul. Yeah. And then I'll bring you back. But in verse 6 it says, I will circumcise your heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a new yeah. covenant. Yeah. It's a new covenant. Yeah. Because that, that's going into like the kingdom. Like, uh, yeah. That goes with uh, the. Matter of fact, get Ezekiel 36. Let's lock it. Let's go into the Gentiles real quick. Ezekiel 36 23. That's, that's what's happening right now. That's what's gathering it, brothers and sisters right now. It's a word, man. Because none of us here got no genealogy, man. Yeah, I go back to the tribe of Judah. Yeah, I go back to Benjamin. Yeah, I go all the way back to Lee. When you read Chronicles, it gives you all. They had the records. It gives you all their forefathers, man. Yahweh Shai. It gives you his forefathers going all the way back to Adam, man. The Matthew, the first chapter. So they knew what tribe they belonged to. We don't got no genealogy, no records. So how, what woke us up is the spirit, man. See? That's what's gathering the um the twelve drives back. What, what you got? Ezekiel 36, 23 said. Mm -hmm. 
and it reads, Ezekiel 36, 23, And I will sanctify my great name, which was profane among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. Yeah, because we were scattered. Go ahead. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. What's happening right now? Go ahead. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries. There you go. So our people are scattered everywhere. And they may look like them. That's why you can't get too caught up on um, physical um, appearance, man, all the time, man. Color is just an indicator, man. It's not everything, man. Above all, it's based off the spirit, man. Go ahead. And we'll bring you into your own land. Gone. Let me get delivered, Lord willing. Gone. Then will I sprinkle clean water from you. That's the new covenant. And ye shall be clean from all your filthiness. And from all your idols will I cleanse you. So that's when he said Hebrews 8. Take the law and put it in your inward part. That's Hebrews 8, 6. And only belongs to the, the Israelites. That don't belong to everybody. And it's a little more than that, verse 26. Yeah, you read that. Um, a new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I, will, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and will give you a heart and heart of flesh. Yeah, that's why the law was written on stone because it represented Israel's heart. The scripture said hard-hearted and a rebellious people, stiff neck. He said, I'm going to give you a fleshly heart so you'll be able to absorb everything, man. A little, a little more too. Yeah. Verse 27, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgment and do them. The new covenant. The new covenant. That's the new covenant. So every Israelite gonna be perfect from the least to the greatest. It tells you that and I also Isaiah sixty, the end of Isaiah the sixtieth chapter. If one repents. If one repents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And endure to the end. Yeah, if you endure to the end, yeah. And we get you get saved, the Lord that's a, that's a part of the blessings. Because as a nation, we never gonna go off again in the kingdom of the most high. That's when Deuteronomy 30 is going to be fulfilled. They're going to be like, um, he said all the blessings, because we got the curses already, but we're going to get those infinite amount of blessings. Mm -hmm. And he said before you even pray, you're going to receive it. See? And they're going to say, this is a this is a truly a people that the Most High is so near unto. See, there's a lot to being an Israelite, man. See what I'm saying? There's a lot, man. The scripture says he's a prince of the power, man. There's a lot, man. Isaiah 60 and verse 20. Alright, let me hear. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For Yahweh Bashim Yahushab shall be thine everlasting light. Yeah, that's golden wisdom and knowledge, yeah. And the days of thy morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. There you go, from the least to the greatest Israelites. From King David, the rest of the 12, the 144, the one third. That and the two thirds back. that have to be born back, they um, everybody gonna be perfect. Go ahead, from the least to the greatest. My people also shall be all righteous. There you go. They shall inherit the land forever. Woo! Forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand. And who are the little one? The one forty-four. That's what Yahweh Shah said. If you offend one of the little ones, it's better a millstone was around your neck. So that proves that we're going to have what? Children, man. And a small one, a strong nation. So one brother of the 144 going to become a nation, man. That's what he said. In my father's house are many mansions, man. Planets, galaxies, man. That wasn't just created just to decorate the universe. Who do you think that's going to belong to? That belongs to his elect, man. He said, I go to prepare a place for you, man. That's what the angels, the Allah Hayyim, the Most High, that's what they're doing, man. For each brother's liking, man. That's what scripture says, eyes have not seen or ears heard what the Most High got prepared for those that love him, man. Come on, man. So everything, we, the scripture says that you're going to be a joint heir with the Mashiach. All right. So whatever he gets, you're going to get, man. And guess what? That's not, that's not, that don't belong to the heathen, man. Yes, yeah, Shalom. See, that don't belong to the heathen, man. 
Go ahead. Ah, uh, your how about shooting our shot will hasten it in his time. In his time, man. So, like you were saying, man, that's a lot, man, to being an Israelite, man. Uh, and and right now the trials are gonna um the trials are gonna um pick up because um we're at the end of this thing. Like we we're going through a rundown impeachment. Uh, the economy them coming after us all at the end of 2020 I mean all at the end of 2019 so we see how 2020 is going to be man both sides giving us a preview and I believe North Korea said they got to have a Christmas present for America yeah so we don't know yeah so all them talks of peace and all that that's all nonsense man that scripture says when they shall say peace and safety then what it's going to be sudden destruction this ain't the time of peace man Matter of fact, let's get that Ecclesiastes 3. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse... So I've won, yeah. Got a one, right? To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. What's being planted, the elect. Right. What's being plucked up, these other nations on America, man. Uh, Alright. Th this current power structure is going to get plucked up, man. Okay. A time to kill and a time to heal. People never read these scriptures, man. There's a time to kill and there's a time to heal. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is the time of killing, man. Uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Go ahead. A time to break down and a time to build up. Like we said, what's being built up? The, um, the kingdom of heaven, which starts with who? The elect brothers. That's what Yahweh Shai said, the kingdom of heaven coming not by observation. Not as Shai to say, lo here, lo there. He said, whoa, what? The kingdom of God is within you, man. Right. Starts with the knowledge, man. So the kingdom is being built right before your eyes, man. Go ahead. Like you. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Right. This is the time of mourning, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we're coming into tribulation time. Okay. Right. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Mm. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. And, and, uh, well, and we at the time now where we're about to be silent, man. The famine of the word, man. So, you know, we're in a marketplace right now. We're telling you, listen, like the scripture says, buy the truth and sell it sell not. not. Right. We're in a marketplace right now, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> we're selling the most size product, man. Uh, which truth. is what? Yeah, this truth which leads to salvation, everlasting life, man. See? And you, as you see, the majority of people in the marketplace, they don't want it. Man. Uh, and guess what's the, the best thing about this product? It's free, man. We ain't charging you nothing, man. See? You people used to come out here and sell Jordans and all that foolishness for free. You see, you have a line of people, man. But the word of the Lord, nah, we don't want that. Uh, it's too simple. There's no way something that precious could be free, man. See? Cause you got you people, you're carnal, man. Most like all his men out there, his merchants out there, um, doing his work, man. Okay, it tells you that in Matthew the twenty fifth chapter, the parable. Man. Um, and, and, you know, the, about the talent, yeah. Matthew twenty five, twenty two, around there, or it might be the beginning of the chapter, man. Okay, and you're supposed to multiply this thing, man. You're supposed to grow, man. And this is also what the um, the wedding. I'm trying to think of another scripture. Oh yeah, Luke the 12th chapter. I think it's Luke 12, 42. You see? Going for the stuff. What, what more is it? No, nah, that's good. That's sure. it, was, it was the one about um. Oh, you said peace, peace, and sudden. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Please ask you three and eight. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Yeah, there's a time for war and there's a time of peace. This is the time of war, man. Okay? World War Three, According to the Bible, man. 
okay? And it's gonna be a civil war. And it's gonna be martial law, man. It's gonna be wars on every side. Man. Race wars. Yeah, race wars, Boy, man. Man. Class wars, man. Be rich against the poor, people against the government. Nation America versus NATO. America versus uh North Korea, China. Russia. There's economic wars, there's all kind of wars, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then you got wars within amongst these nations. That's what you got Chile, Haiti, Hong Kong, Spain. Um, Iran, Syria, there's all kind of civil unrest, man. Uproars of the people, insurrections, man. That's all prophecy. All right. Now there's another scripture. I think it was a uh, Luke 12. Let's see. Yeah, Luke twelve forty two. It says, oh, "You got it." Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Luke twelve forty two. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushua said, "Who then is that faithful and wise steward, Khan. whom his lord shall make ruler over his household?" Yeah, and that's what the steward does. He protects his lord household. He protects his money. Go ahead. To give them their portion in, of meat in due season. And what's that portion? The kingdom, man. In due season, man. Which the season now is right now, man. This is that time, man. Because we were talking about before on camera, Daniel saw the fall of all kingdoms. Then he said he saw the Ancient of Days, man. The Most High, man, sitting on his throne. At the end all, man. End all, be all, man. And he said, what? The beast was given to the flame. That's right now. Go ahead. Blessed is that servant. Whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Doing what? Doing the work, man. That's right. Okay? That's what Yahweh Bashim Shah is looking at, man. That's what Yahweh Shah is looking at, man. His brother's doing the work, man. His brother's taking this serious, man. Okay? Because like we said, we don't know that portion of meat. Like, man, it's going to be something way beyond your wildest imaginations, man. And it's for eternity, man. Just for doing something like this, like he told Isaiah, it's a light thing, all right, to raise up the tribes of Israel. Man. This is the light, man. The trials and tribulations that you go through is a light, man. Compared to the glory that you're gonna receive, man. Because like these, like we talk about these Jake say envy, these rappers, and they have to sell their soul for that shit, man. Uh. Right? And the little toys that they got, that's nothing, man. That's nothing, man. And guess what? They don't have it forever. One minute they have it, and the next minute they don't. Man. All right? And if they do keep it for a long um, time, you look at how their life digress. All right? They, they get demons on them. They can't sleep. They get tattooed. Look at Michael Jackson, the empire that he built. What happened? And now he's getting demonized, man. And he's already dead. He was demonized when he was alive for being a freak. A pedophile, which he was, okay, it was all that, man. You see, but Esau, just, <laughs> when you deal with the devil, that's what happens, man. <laughs> you see, and all these other rappers, man, okay, all these other celebrities, man. That's what scripture says, was the Proverbs 23 and 4, okay, that's what scripture says, the things that you're seeing are temporary, man. This whole kingdom is on its way out. This homosexual kingdom, the opposed trannies and whatever freak. Like we said, every year they add a new letter to that garbage, man. Every year, man. Pedophiles coming out, uh, people who having sex with robots. It's just all kind of madness, yeah, man. All kind of madness. Yeah, people that sense of zoophilia, be bestiality. Most house a lot of things go on. Every year they'll just add a new letter, man. Oh, and I seen a video, it was like eating my lady having sex with the earth, literally the ground. Yeah, the earth, some people married to the ocean. These people are just crazy, man. They're bugged out. These same people, they believe in Santa Claus and all that, man. They teach their kids that nonsense, man. That's what the most high is going to destroy America, man. That's right. All right? Because Christmas and other these wicked holidays got nothing to do with the Lord's birth, man. I ain't nowhere in the Bible, man. Santa Claus ain't nowhere in the Bible. Neither is um no elves and no reindeers, man. Okay, that was a lewd, the base holiday, man. 
right? That's a mixture of all these different holidays from Santanilia, sun worshiping, okay? And it was outlawed at first when it when they came over here with it, man. That's how loot it was. And then they brought it back, man. Get into the history, man. And um on who they get this whole gift given from, they go back to Saint Nicholas. And Saint Nicholas was a dark skinned man, a Negro, an Israelite from Egypt, man. Going to the Byzantine Empire icons. See this history, they're not gonna teach you about that, man. See? What you got? Yeah, Proverbs 23 and 4. Kind. Labor not to be rich. So there you go. And this is who? Solomon. Right? Solomon did Solomon have to labor to be rich or the most I gave it to him? Most I gave it to him. Right. He had to labor to be rich, man. All he had the most high for was wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The most I said, since you asked me for that, you didn't ask me for wealth, the um, um, your enemy's head. I'm gonna give you what you asked me for, and I'm gonna give you the things you didn't ask me for. It wasn't because of Solomon's own merit that he became um, rich. The Most High gave him those things, man. He gave him glory, man. Okay. So same thing with us, man. That's what the scripture says. What? Labor not to be rich. Don't labor to be rich, man. Like Fifty Cent said, "Get rich or die trying." We know on that shit, man. All right. We're supposed to be rich in faith, man. Done. Okay. That's what Yahweh Shai was trying to teach, man. Like, don't get caught up in the world and all this is vanity, man. All right? It's vanity. Go ahead. Cease from thine own wisdom. Uh-huh. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. And they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Same thing in this society, man. All right? Like you said, one minute you have him, but he might go bankrupt.